Okay, this is a retake. Um, because my son was in here and he was wilding out, so I had to put him out. <laughs> Anyways, this is your girl Shreya B showing you how I um to seal my dark circles. Now, I know some people will tell you just to go ahead and um get a sh um foundation. Um I mean get a concealer a little lighter than your skin tone. Okay. But if you have dark circles like me, uh, well, they're not serious, serious, but to me they are. I will neutralize the dark circle first before um, highlighting the dark area. So in order to do this, you're going to need two concealers. You're going to need one concealer of your shade and one concealer that's clearly lighter than your shade. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm using the MAC uh, Select Cover Up, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and take, put a little on my blending brush. And then before, I'm just going to dot it where I see that it's needed, okay? Like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do it to the other eye. See, it's not needed all the way around. Um, my dark circles are only like half moons, like right in the front, in the inner corner of my eyes. Okay. Since I have a little left over, I'm going to go ahead and wipe out my blemish like that. And that blemish there. And flip it over on the clean side and go ahead and wipe them out so nobody won't see them any other little spots okay so I'm done with that okay. now I'm going to just go on a circle of motion Okay, you see how I neutralized it first? Okay, because now you can't see it. And the reason why this stuff is important is because whenever I didn't neutralize them, I can see my little circles beaming through my um, lighter concealer. So I neutralized them first and I let it dry, okay? Um, I let them dry. After I let them dry, I go ahead. And this is actually my first time using this brush from Sigma. But, you know, I usually use my Coastal Scents. Um, it's a little pink fluff brush. And it's perfect for this, well, since I'm having a little issue getting them out of the packet. And I know that they say you're supposed to wash them before you use them. But a lot of times I just use them, then wash them. Uh, let's see. Just being totally honest. And now I can make the V shape here. And here. Maybe a little too much here. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face. So it's gonna here. 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 Always let it sit a little. Okay, so there I have highlighted my face. And I'm going to go ahead and blend those highlights first. Okay. 
Okay. And the good thing for African American women, we kind of have like a natural highlight already. You know, our skin tones are usually a little discolored in the areas that we tend to highlight. And uh, um, the ones that we tend to contour, uh, you know, uh, they tend to be a little darker too. So, I'm like, oof, we have natural um, contours and highlights in our skin tone. So, as you can see, dark circles are gone. Yay! <laughs> and then I, um, I take a lighter powder. I'm using Max, uh, what's this called? Um, I know it's an NC45. I think it's just pressed powder. I mean, a loose powder. And I usually get a small poof. This is from Eve Pearl. Dip it in my powder and put it on top of there. Okay. And I'm about to do my eyes. So I may do a video for that too. And the reason I press it in first is to make sure the concealer doesn't move. And it's okay because I'm going to dust this off when I'm done with my eyes. Like that. And um, that's how I can see my eyes. I do dust the loose powder off, but I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes. So this video is not extremely long. Um, I hope you like. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Love you.